Welcome in, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got a terrific matchup on tap between the Atlanta Falcons and the Carolina Panthers. With that, let's get up to Charlotte. Standing by our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to the Carolinas and Bank of America Stadium here in Uptown Charlotte. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Atlanta Falcons and the Carolina Panthers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Panther ball club as they interplay here. And losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for the visiting Falcons, it's late in the year. We all know it. We've seen the calendar for these guys. Their bodies could probably use a break, but they have to push on. And they're really not as worried about that as maybe we think. They know they've got the entire offseason to rest. All they care about is the game in front of them and finishing strong. Three quarters of the NFL season are complete. What lurks in our final month? We're underway in week 14. This is taken at his four. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. And they'll be led out by the NFL's most valuable player from 2015. It's Cam Newton. There are a number of great quarterbacks in the NFL, but I have to believe that the prototype in terms of look has to be Cam Newton. That stature and frame, almost breathtaking when you see him in person. And now he's starting to put it all together with consistency in his game, throwing, running, leading. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. And the big boys up front in the trenches. What do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. Now it's Newton here off the bootleg. And he finds a man with a crossing round. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 23 yards to pick up there. This is Newton off the play fake to McCaffrey. And they get to Newton and take him down for the sack. Preston Smith in there to get him. And on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Newton going to hand it off to McCaffrey. And three yards there takes him to the 45. Time to see how Atlanta will line up defensively. They're going to need to be strong against the run in this one. One thing players always tell us is that they never really pay attention to numbers. I don't believe them for a second. <laughs> they know where they rank, okay? They're, they're, you know, they're not quite at the top, but they're far from the bottom. But let's face it, they want to move up. In order to do that, they've got to look at each other and make sure everyone's taking care of their assignments in order to play the run better. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. Now this is going to carry on, well baby. into the end zone for a touchback. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. And leading them, Charles, their quarterback, their field general. And what I'm looking for from him today the things every quarterback is looking to do. Lead his team to a victory. Doesn't matter whether he's throwing it, running it, handing it off, 
however he has to do it, as well as exhibiting some leadership, that's what he's trying to accomplish. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. The intended target was Calvin Ridley, but it'll be second down. And here are the Falcon offensive starters. So let's all work together on this one because it's natural to just watch the football. But I want all of us to watch the center of this offensive line, the center and the two guards. They've got to be able to control the point of attack, and they didn't do such a good job on that last play. Plenty of opportunities to redeem themselves. They'll have to take advantage of that and start to make progress. Time for a look at our starters here on defense. And they find themselves just outside the top 10 in the league against the pass, currently bringing up the number 11 spot. I think if you talk to their head coach, you'll get a nice answer about how much he likes his team and what they're doing. But at the end of it, he would admit there's definitely room to improve. And they're left looking at third and eight after the second down pass play only went for two. From the gun, Nix. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And I think the ball's out. And it's picked up by the Panthers. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not only going to tip it, I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations, big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. On first down, this is McCaffrey. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. The last run got six, now second and four. They're going to run the sweep. It's Samuel. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. So first and ten now from the 30. They'll run with McCaffrey. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. Now whistles here, and it looks like we've got a Panther that's having some difficulty down there getting up. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Ready, ready, nine. Switch up, switch up. On second down, McCaffrey. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. Really in a hole here, third and 17, following the two negative plays. From the gun, here's Newton. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 13-yard line. We often, with Cam Newton, talk a lot about his legs. Don't forget about that arm. He can throw it on a rope. He can loft it. He's got the touch that's been developed throughout his career. But the big part about just watching him throw it, it seems almost effortless. It's, it's going to be a long day. It's going to be... Now a run with McCaffrey. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the nine. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Here's Newton. This will be caught just inside the 10. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. It's a gain of five. And that is going to set up a third and one. Newton looking to throw on third and one. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. And yes, they want the points, so they will decline the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple of seconds mulling over what the penalty would do I don't even do know why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. Extra point try, good by Gano. 
An update from that game going on in the Meadowlands. The Jets have taken the early lead over the Bills. And we'll keep an eye on that one as our game goes along here. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Falcons offense making their way onto the field. Let's take a look at the playoff picture coming into the weekend in the NFC. And I tell you, four weeks still to go, and everything is wide open, and it's fun. And I know we always talk about, well, if the playoffs were to begin today, and then we kind of go, okay, but they're not. Let's see how it plays out. Wouldn't it be fun to play with this playoff lineup right now? Because to me, just about anyone can win this whole thing out of this grouping we currently have. And by the time we get there, it may look entirely different. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for a first down for the Falcons. First down. On first down, they'll run it on the draw play. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. Luke Keekley combines speed intelligence toughness puts it all together it makes plays like one we just saw there he may not be a big time blitzer but boy he knows how to pursue straight ahead and make plays in the run game he turned that into a nice game gets him eight yards closer for third down now a handoff here to his running back and that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. It'll be a loss of one, and that's going to make it fourth down. Plays like we just saw there, that's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at the 20. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 11 yards and a Panther first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Now whistles here, and it looks like we've got a Panther that's having some difficulty down there getting up. While the training staff works on him, We'll step aside and be right back. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. From the gun on third down, Newton. And that will be incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And things haven't started so well for this side. Two drives, two punts. So now you've got to start looking not just at play calling, but which guy's going to step forward and say, okay, let's get this thing done. Because within that unit of 11, sometimes one guy can make a big time play and break through the barrier. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 15 carries, 69 yards. I can't remember the last time we did a game and a coach didn't talk about establishing the run first, but they've lost two straight games. So they still want to do that, but they've got to have some contingencies, some other options. Expect them maybe to throw it a little bit to open up things and maybe run it a little bit more later in the game. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. They run the counter. It's green. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Now after that last running play, we've got an offensive lineman down on the field. 
We'll check on his status when we get back. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Off play action. Nix. He's got his man on the crossing route. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 37. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. Caught here by Bell. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Seven yards there and a first down. Right back to him on first down. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Looking to throw. Nix. And an alley to run. And it's a fumble. And it's picked up by the Panthers. He's got a convoy, and he might be gone. The 30, 20, 10, and he takes it into the end zone. It's a fumble touchdown. recovery and a touchdown for the Panthers. Oh, backbreaker. That'll drive the coach, the offensive coordinator, just crazy. You get it all the way down there in the red zone, can't capitalize. Instead, they go the other way on the fumble return for a touchdown. How about the aggressiveness of the defense, though? They're not about to just fall on a fumble, are they? Scoop and score is their motto, and they just did it. Gano for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. This one taken just inside the 10. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Brian Burns has now recorded 10 sacks on the season. This offense line has struggled. In fact, when we sat down with the coach, he said, it's been in tatters lately. They allowed six sacks in their last game. Just gave up another one right there. In tatters, so it sounds a little bit like this right now. Exactly. It's like that paper being ripped. And right now, they've got to find a way to get it back together. The Falcons on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and seven. So that'll back them up five. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now. Third and long. Operating from the gun. Nix sliding out of the pocket. He made and now a fumble. The ball's out. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. When I see a play like that, I come back to risk reward. I don't know about you, but is it worth it at that point, whatever you're going to pick up, to either take the hit, and in this case, lose the football. So should have gone down. I mean, hindsight's always 20-20, but that's the safe play. You're exactly right. Hindsight's really never wrong, is it? Because you can analyze it, but I think ultimately you've got to look at it as a first option, taking care of the ball, getting what you can, and that's it. Don't worry about it anymore. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. All that, and it only nets him a yard. It's second down. Here's McCaffrey. 
And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. So a good snap, good hold, and right down the middle. Never in doubt. Just the way you used to hit him, partner. You mean like uh, kicking the ball? Exactly. Well, that was in high school. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't care what level you hit them, they go through. This is taken at the three. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you down. want to. Well, no, but well, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just, you called, it I think you just called it desperation time. I think <laughs> yeah. you did. But let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. Now a throw left sideline here is complete. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now they'll run on the draw. Takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. The Falcons on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This time it's third and three. Back to throw. Nicks. Oh, they would have gotten the conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. So a couple of first downs on this drive, but it's looking like another empty possession. And those empty possessions are certainly starting to pile up. So the adjustments that teams talk about all the time have to be taking place. They've got to analyze what's breaking down and figure a way to fix it. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. They'll run. This is Pierce. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, Big play right in his hands. On a rush comes and they block it. Now the Atlanta Falcons are in for the touchdown. There are plenty of ways for a special teams coach to get excited. But when you block a punt into the end zone and recover for a score, yeah, he's going to be jumping up and down a big way. And as a punter, you know that that clock is ticking. He just didn't get it off in time. Josh Lambeau now for the point after. And it's 17 7. Next to score, Panthers 17. Falcon 7. And Lambeau now after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25 yard line. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now it's Newton. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing again. Newton. 
That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. The intended receiver there, Ian Thomas, and it's third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. And they get to Newton and take him down for the sack. Preston Smith has now recorded 10 sacks on the season. I spent a lot of extra time preparing for this game watching this offensive line because they gave up five sacks last week in their loss. They just gave up another one now. They don't seem to be working together as a cohesive unit. Right, Four guys might have it right, but the fifth guy is giving something up. They've got to find a way to all get on the same page. Here's Michael Pilardi now. Remember, though, he did have one blocked earlier. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And for him, it's been pretty limited involvement down on the scoreboard. Maybe time to turn to this guy. And you know me well. Winning games to me means starting with the running game and continuing to press the running game. Maybe you go away from him a little bit now, but the bottom line is he hasn't touched it enough to make a difference. Well, they haven't established that running game yet. The question is, will they? They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Third down turns to first with that five-yard pickup. They'll run on first down. Green. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Ten yards there and a first down for the Falcons. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. And to give this time to the tailback. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable. And you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say. Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. Third catch of this first half for him. And this one is a first down. This quarterback now hitting on 80% of his passes in the early going. 8 of 10. It's first down. Now they'll run it on the toss. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers 14. Well, it certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. Second and 11. Green brings it in. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. From the gun on third down, Nix. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. A 31-yard attempt. 
And Lambeau will put this one through. And they're back within a touchdown. It's 17-10. to so they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. Here we go, D. On first down, Newton. Taking a shot for Samuel. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. To throw again, Newton. Thomas has got it, complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The Panthers are gonna use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Out of the gun, Newton. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Newton on first down. He'll drop it off to McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. Very good starting field position for the Falcons offense as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Nix, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. Second and 15, rolling to his right. And now he's going to use his legs. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, let's get to some of these scores around the NFL here in a busy week 14. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. In our game, it was Cam Newton who led the way in that first half. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. This one taken from the seven. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. 
it's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. On third down, Nix, they'll roll him out right. He can run for it, and he... Now the ball comes loose, and it's picked up by the Panthers. Now, let's be frank, you hate the fumble at the end of the play, but prior to that, I liked a lot of what was going on. Tucks it down, takes off, picks up good yardage. But in that portion of the field, that close to the sideline... Step out. Yeah, either get down or get out of bounds. Take care of the ball. Yeah, he had the yards, but then the mistake. The Panthers' offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, OK, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, Less of a field goal attempt for him. That second down play nets a minus four. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. Back to throw, Newton. And is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. It's Desmond Trufant. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So it's third and long, and you know this is... going to be a pass. So defensively, they're bringing an extra defensive back and just blanket the field. And this is an ill-advised throw right here as it winds up being picked off easily. Atlanta now coming out on the field. We have not seen much on offense from either side. These last few drives, it has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. They always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to, and if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance and guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. Looking to throw. Knicks. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Here we go. Here we go. Third and four, he did just enough, and I mean just enough to move the chains. And that's all you're looking for, right? Just want to keep the drive moving. You don't need the big play there. Just get to that marker that you described, and he was able to do just that. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. On first down, nothing opening up really on the running play. Give him maybe a yard, and it'll be second down. That's going to set him back five yards. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Back to throw. Nix. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and it'll be a third and about 13. Throwing on third and long. Nix. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. 
And he can only manage to take the football to the 40, and that is well shy of the first down marker. A gain of eight there on the eighth play of the drive. He dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished it off. By the way, third quarter now in Cincinnati as we take a look at the NFL scoreboard. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. Remember to keep an eye on the ticker, of course, at the bottom of your screen for updates on that game and others around the NFL. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. Gets this to the 24 for a gain of four. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Here's Newton. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. He couldn't get the hook up there that time with Thomas, and it's third down. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. And he's got McCaffrey open, complete. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. A big play there on the catch and run, 48 yards. I'm not sure this is how they had it drawn out on paper. But this is going to work out for them and then some, right? They've got a big chunk they've got to pick up. They decide to check it down, and he just turns into a pure athlete and makes a huge play for them. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. They'll run it here with Pierce. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. Showed off the toughness, but still corralled shy of the five at the six. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop him. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The putter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor putter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, there's, some, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A nice pick up there, 18 yards, first down Falcons. This quarterback now, perfect since the second half started, 7 of 7. It's first and 10. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. In on the tackle there, Luke Keekley. Looking to throw on second down. Nix, the catch is made by the tight end, Nauta. Pushing the foul, roughing the passer, defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. 
To throw on second down. Nix. And that one got tipped. Kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. I love the intelligence the defense just showed there. Read their keys, saw the screen developing, ran to it, and smothered it. What a third down stop by them. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. Yeah, things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to the goal line, things stiffened a little bit, forced the field goal. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Boy, that is a seven-yard loss. Second down now. A run here with Pierce. Finding room at the 30. And he's got some space here. He's at the 40. Pass the 20, 10, touchdown, Carolina. A big play there, 82 yards. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. They blitzed defensively there, but he was able to slip through that first layer, and then he was gone. I think they won the leverage game, didn't they? Yes. Right, they saw the blitz coming. That got to him a little bit, but they leveraged it perfectly and found not just a crease, a gigantic hole. And off he goes, and he's still going all the way to the end zone. Gano the extra point, and the lead now up to 14. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be fielded at the 8. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a and a loose football, and it's picked up by the Panthers. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. He didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. Getting set to go again here. Cam Newton marches back onto the field. The lead is theirs here in the third quarter, but it's really been the ground game that's been the recipe for success. You mean the spotlight isn't shining as brightly on the guy throwing it? No, it's the man behind him that's had a heck of a game. And that's really okay. That's actually what you're looking for. I mean, your pride tells you, hey, I want to be responsible. I want to throw a bunch of touchdown passes. But when you're able to run the football, typically speaking, your team's doing pretty well. And in this case, they're winning. We'll see if they have balance on this drive. Now a first down throw for Newton. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. Now this home crowd, they're happy with that call. <laughs> I like the way you said happy there, right? The so-called good guys didn't get a call. They feel like it's been that way all afternoon. You feeling their pain? They finally got one. Yes, they did. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. And now we'll get a stoppage here. There appears to be an injured Falcon on the field. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. Ready? Look at it. Mike. Mike is 59. Mike to 59. Bring it. Bring it. 
On the ground, McCaffrey. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Second and goal from the one. So it'll be second and goal when we return. We've played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Second down and goal. Newton to the goal line, but it's incomplete. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Newton to throw. And he's got his man. It's Samuel. Touchdown, Carolina. Curtis Samuel, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning, right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? And there's gonna be a stoppage here. The booth wants to take another look at this potential touchdown. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. Extra point try, good by Gano. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> Throwing on first down. Nix toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He's looking for Ridley again. And now it's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Second and ten. And he gets this one to Ridley complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 41-yard line. Watch his slack. Watch his slack. Watch his slack. On first down, Nix. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Roughing the passer, defense. The hit comes late. We saw it. There's your flag. And we know that there's a guideline, right? Ball's gone. You get one step. If you're within one step of the quarterback, you can hit him as long as it's still done legally. But anything outside of that, Looks like an extra step was involved. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that could be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. It'll be a gain of 18 on the play. And that'll make this a second down. Second and two. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. Everybody scoot up, scoot up. Step, 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 step. On third down, it's Green. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. On first and 10. Nix, this complete to Jones. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 11 yards for number 11. From the gun, Nix. And that is caught. 
Touchdown, Falcons! Marcus Green, his second touchdown on the season. And the Falcons cut into that lead. So a nice touchdown pass for the rookie there. And, you know, as they go down the stretch, look, they're not a playoff team. This is just confidence building and growth time for him, right? Yeah, it's a game within the game, isn't it? Because every team wants to win all games on their schedule. But the development of this rookie quarterback is paramount for this team. So you're exactly right. Every rep, doesn't matter what the game, what the situation, what the score, valuable for him, valuable for his team as they look towards next year. This will be fielded at the six. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23 yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Newton on third down. A bullet throw, but incomplete. And sensing the momentum, maybe changing here a little bit, Charles. Yeah, this defense is going to get off the field quickly, and their offense got them a touchdown last time they had the ball, so they should get another shot. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked out and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. On first down, it's Green. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Looking to throw on second down. Nix, that's complete. It's Bell. Seven yards there and a first down. And now they have a little more space to maneuver from the 15 first and 10. Looking to throw. Nix stepping up. He's going to keep it. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Second and four. He completes it to Jones. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Throwing on first down. Nix, he'll let this go deep for Sutton. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Throwing again on second and 10. Nix, he's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. Back to throw. Nix. He's got a man. It's Sutton that's complete. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. On first down, Nix. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 41. Looking to throw, Nix. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Throwing again, Nix. He's got green. You got him, you got him. First down marker at the 31, it's third down. Operating from the gun, Nix. He may try and run for this. 
Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Back to throw. Nix. And this is caught. That's Watkins. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. The Pro Bowl wideout Julio Jones is intended receiver, but it's going to be second down. Back to the air on second down. Nix. Now they go screen. It's complete. Sharp there with his feet gets him a little extra space and then drop just inside the 20. They get seven there on the screen. It'll set up a third down. Looking to throw. Nix finding green complete. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. It'll be a two-yard gain, and it'll be fourth down. On fourth down, they'll try and run for it. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Back to throw. Nix. And he's got his star receiver. It's Jones for the Falcon touchdown. Julio Jones, his fifth touchdown now on the year as his guys are back within a single score. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Uh, yeah. yeah, you know. It doesn't you kinda, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> This is taken at the three. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand-new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here, or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit, and you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all their timeouts, so we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you've got another thing coming. Yeah, I and mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. Now, this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. This is McCaffrey, and he'll be brought down at the 34, well short of the first down marker. And now with 152 to go, we get another pause in the action, a timeout here defensively. Here's Michael Pilardi now as he's on to punt for Carolina. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. The field position game often so overlooked, but this offense is going to be backed up deep. What an ideal punt. And now, this stage of the game, when they need the drive to try and put themselves in a position to win it, you talk about going the long field, the very long field. This could be a 99-yard drive if they're able to accomplish it. That's complete to Nauta, the tight end. And he lost the football. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. They'll look to throw. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. He's back to throw. We are in, and he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. He'll look to throw. He'll buy some time right. He can run for it, and he will. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. 
On fourth down, Nix. He's going to let it fly. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Panthers are going to get it back in excellent field position. So this one is over, a victory for Carolina. And it wasn't really always pretty. They had their bumps and bruises, really both sides did, but they did what they needed to do at home to get the win. Yeah, they really had to grind this one out, didn't they? Because nothing came easy. Every snap was a major league brawl. They had to win at the line of scrimmage, win downfield. They got all those things accomplished. But to win a close one like this, you know, every team wants to be physical. We've heard that a million times, right? But those who are mentally tough, those are the teams that you have to deal with in the playoffs. This was that type of a game. So for the Panthers, they move back over 500 at 7-6. and six, And they will hit the road next week for a date with the New Orleans Saints. Meanwhile, for the Falcons, they're squarely in play for next year mode now as they drop to 2-11. and 11. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week.